Yes, hello and welcome to this pick a card. I know it has been a while and you hear me saying that every time. Um, yeah, it's been quite busy. I have a new channel. It is called Magic Soul Ascension Coaching. And the other channel is about Twin Flame Coaching, Twin Flame Astrology and Manifesting. So check that out if you want to make progress in your Twin Flame journey or if you want to learn to manifest your desires. But now we're going to, to a, pick a card and it is about a message from your pet. And this message can be from a live pet or one that has crossed over the rainbow bridge. Unfortunately, just yeah, this month after 15 years together, one of my three cats left me, which inspired me to do this reading. So we have three piles, as you can see. We have number one. I think it's called pyrites let me focus it yeah it's my favorite then we do have this one I don't know what it's called sorry and this one is a rose quartz I already created the piles for today's reading because of time issues so let's see what we've got for number one let's put it here these are your cards let's put the others to the sides okay oh you got Toru this card it's the four of pentacles you've got stagnation eight of pentacles you've got the fool so let's see what's the message of your pets you got finances and career financial issues are factoring your love life right now we got, it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. We've got goddess and we do, a, wow, look, we got goddess and God. I swear I did not pick those out before. <laughs> I never, ever do. I usually have life shuffling. I just wanted to save some time today, but wow. So the light, they're both are light attributes because they're not reversed. The feminine expressed through wisdom, nature, life force and sensuality and God, benevolence and compassion, recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others. We got the raccoon resourcefulness. You have all the resources you need. Oh, wow. This is interesting, especially since we have um, this card here. We got Beaver productiveness. Just go ahead and do it. Oh, do we have more space? We got the hope. And we've got the waiting game. Can we put, yeah, I think we can see them all like this. Okay. So the message from your pets. I mean, it obviously loves you so much. We do have, it is safe for you to love. And you see, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So your pet is feeling very, very much loved if they have passed on then they did feel very very much loved by you and they do love you in return if there have been some instability for example when it co comes to finance and career your pet wants to tell you that it is happy you know but what the message i got is your pets they're very much connected to your energy and they pick up on things they can not pick up on your worries on your energy everything like this you know so if there has been some financial difficulties then your pet wants to say i don't care about that i don't care if you don't always buy me the newest toy or whatever it is because i get love from you i get love i get um stability this card is very much talking about stability and yeah you're my god or god yes <laughs> i'm going to talk a bit more about those cards of course as well and you know resourcefulness you have all the resources you need your pet wants to tell you even if we don't have everything when it comes to financial stuff i have everything i need with you and you could be two people for some of you maybe you have a spouse because god and goddess of course can be that you're pet tells you yes i love both of you i'm so happy to have this family where there's both parties involved 
and of course it could also be a homosexual couple it doesn't matter or your pet sees both within you that you have the goddess within you know the the, effects, the feminine aspect the wisdom the sensuality but also the compassion and yeah look we have compassion i mean that's what pets are known for right to give us the compassion and to get compassion from us your pet sees that maybe in some time some some aspect in your life you feel like there's stagnation going on you don't know the way out but at the same time your pet tells you and that is my cat you just heard <laughs> don't worry about it too much because the fool is a card that is not talking about worry at all i mean your pet can be any pet but i feel especially if you had a dog because we had a dog here and with god and goddess it reminds me of this joke it's like the dog would say oh my god the people in my life the humans in my life they love me they play with me they feed me they clean my poop and they cuddle me they must be gods <laughs> and the cat would say oh my god the people i live with they love me they feed me they pet me they clean my poop i must be a god <laughs> so this is just god but it doesn't matter what kind of pet you had i mean gee it could be a snake right um but your pet just loved and adored you and it tells you not to worry because your pet seems to pick up on some kind of worry. We do have it with the um, financial and finance and career that can talk about finance, of course, but any kind of stability. If you worry that you are not always able to give your pet some kind of stability, maybe you are moving with the pet or there's something new going on because the fool can talk about something new, then your pet is telling you, don't worry about me if there has been some change. And I mean, change could also be your pet crossing over, you know, because we do have instability. And then this card is talking about stability. So your pet is acknowledging that any form of instability would only be temporary because there is hope and maybe it just takes a little time the waiting game but there is hope coming up and your pet wants you to stay in this light-hearted energy as the fool that is not worried about crossing this tree here it, not even looking looking at the butterfly and just trusting yeah i get safe to the other side so if there's some kind of thing, situation going on, and I just felt drawn to the skeleton here. So if your pet already crossed over, then they say that I'm, I'm good on the other side. I got to the other side and I am good there. I feel stable and I had all the resources I need with you. But this crossing over, of course, it could be many things. Maybe there's just a change. Maybe they witnessed you going through a big change. I mean, starting a new relationship, ending a relationship, starting a new job. I mean, all of that is energy within you that your pet would pick up, of course. And your pet is just saying, you know, there's hope. Just, just relax. Just relax. I'm feeling drawn to the butterfly here. It's talking about transition and changing as well your pet is saying there's just different stages in our life and don't worry about it because i feel drawn to it is safe you know it is safe and you will be taken care of and whatever is going on and you see i'm just seeing the light in that person's hands it's like yeah you gave me everything and with the hands, I'm feeling like, yeah, your, pers your, your pet loved it when you pet them. <laughs> Maybe for some of you, they loved licking your hands. But I'm feeling very much drawn to the hands right here. If you do have the time with the beaver, just go ahead and do it. Productiveness. I feel like for some of you, your pet is saying, please don't neglect me. Get a little bit more time for me. Just go ahead, take some time for me. Let's do it. Let's play. Don't neglect playing if or maybe if they're too old to play. Don't neglect, I don't know, cuddling, doing something. Because sometimes I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you to come. 
I'm waiting for you. I miss you sometimes. So if for some of you, your pet is saying, yeah, please um, pay a little bit more attention to me. Maybe with finance and career, you're too focused on other projects that could be an issue sometimes. And they're like, yeah, I just want to have fun. Let's just have a little bit more fun sometimes because you are my God, goddess. And yeah, I love you so much. See all of the hearts on her dress. There's love going on here, love and stability. And God and goddess, of course, is a perfect match. So that they acknowledge that as well. Your pet acknowledges you and me. We were or are a perfect match. And I'm glad that you are my person and that nobody else is because I wouldn't want to be with anyone else. It's the perfect fit. It's the perfect match. And if your pet has passed, then they're saying, Please don't be sad. Go on with your life. Oh, wow. I just got a special message for some of you. If your cat, uh, pet, pet has deceased. Um, but they're saying, just go on with your life. Just go on. Transition is normal. It's a life cycle. You know, we, we are born. We go. And I'm feeling very much drawn to this. Um, oh, no. For some reason, I thought it's... <laughs> the hand of the angel with an error for some reason I thought it was a bird I just said I felt very much drawn to the bird but it's an angel same message the message I got is you get some signs or messages trust your higher self you will get some kind of messages in synchronicities maybe but for some of you where your pet has passed I got a very special message when I was looking at that you see the cycles I was talking about life cycles, but look, it, it looks like this person is walking around the cycle. Yeah, I'm going, but I'm coming back and I just got reincarnation. So for some of you, maybe your pet, if it has been, if it has crossed to the other side, like my mini, again, like I'm coming back to you again. This message is for some of you to see if it resonates. I'm coming back to you. So if someday in the future you feel like adopting another pet, that may be me. And if the next one is not me, then maybe the one after that or the one after that. But for some of you, I'm really feeling, you know, like I'm sensing, you know, the, the, the leaves here. It's like a new life. It's not a full grown tree. It's, you know, like spring. It's new. It's new life. And I'm getting the cycles like... I'm coming back for others of you just like yeah we've we spent so many cycles your pet has been with you for a while or is going to stay with you for a while or both <laughs> and they have gone through you with all of these cycles and they appreciate that they appreciate you very very much now getting another message for some of you maybe you kind of like rescued this pet maybe it's from an animal shelter or in Germany, well, if some people adopt, you know, like street dogs from other countries, I'm getting that this with this technician. So for some of you, your pet may have felt like stuck, like there was no one there. There was just darkness. No one cared about them. And then you see this little light here and then you came and you got them out of this darkness and stagnation. And um, see, you brought so much light to them. And they're just so grateful. That's because you are their god or goddess. <laughs> Unless it's a cat, then I mean, you're the servant and they're the god or goddess. <laughs> well, if this reading resonated, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell. I can check out my other channel. If you want a personal reading, I am available. And I do wish you all the best. And I, yeah, see you in my other channel or in another video or in a personal coaching. And I wish you all the best now. Bye-bye. So number two, those are your cards. So let's see what you got. What does your pet want to tell you? Oh, we got the Mother of Wands. We got the Ace of Cups. We've got Death. We've got Love Yourself First. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. 
We've got new love. We've got the Virgin in reverse and the Messiah in reverse. We got seal imagination. Immerse yourself in artistic and creative expression. We got the snake healing. You are a healer. We've got new beginnings. Wow. Look, we got new love. We got origin. Death is a new beginning. Healing is, of course, a new beginning. Oh, wow. Rest and re rejuvenate. That's another card of healing. Oh. Somebody not feeling well. Let's see, Virgin and Messiah. We got the dark attributes because they're both reversed. Shadow attributes. Um, exaggerated belief that you are the only means through which a cause can succeed. And Virgin, fear of intimate union. Okay, I'm getting some stuff already. Okay, okay, okay. So this is for some of you. I'm getting for some of you. You're not the first person in your pet's life. Okay, of course. Some of you, you may have gotten your pet as a puppy, a kitten or whatever, little snake, whatever it is. But I'm feeling for many of you, you are not the first, I don't like to say owner. How can you own another creature? But for lack of a different word, let's say they're, well, master doesn't sound better, right? That person, that person. Yeah, I'm feeling for some of you you're not the first person of your pets and they may have had a past where they were not very happy maybe they were a street animal or you got them from like the animal shelter or something like that or you took them in because this card it has different meanings but the fir very first impulse I got is the mother of wands or queen of wands can be creative and amazing but she can also be not too easy to handle she can be aggressive for example and again this message is not for everyone but i'm feeling like this pets has been through some harsh stuff maybe they were not treated very well at all and then you came and you came oh I feel like I want to cry to be honest <sighs> I'm getting some heavy energy here because I feel like and <laughs> oh gosh I feel like your your pets has been through some bad stuff and they were not very happy and they were in, in some kind of darkness and they were maybe even mistreated and they were not respected you see we do have fear of intimate union they were maybe scared of others then I have to think of one of my cats Tika he's been with me since 2006 he's been in the animal shelter and he had been in current, 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 how do you pronounce it? G. You think after Corona I should be e able to pronounce it? Quarantine? Quar quarantine? Well, I can't say it in German. Quarantine. <laughs> quarantine? <laughs> be not because he was sick, but because he was aggressive, because he attacked everybody. And I saw him, and I knew that he wasn't bad. He was just scared, and he had been mistreated, and he just needed someone to love him. And so I took him in. Yeah, it was 2006 and he was like three years old. He's 19 now, my old boy. He's still with me, thank God. And in the beginning, he did scratch me and bite me a couple of times. Yeah, but I just gave him time. I gave him space. And now he's the most chilled dude you can imagine. He is greeting. We, we hardly have visitors, but he's always the first one to greet everyone. And he's always chilled and relaxed and you would never believe him to be that same cat. That every like only one person in the animal shelter dared to get into his room because he was so aggressive. And why was he aggressive? Probably because he was mistreated, right? An animal is just not aggressive by themselves. And this is what I'm feeling right now. Like all of the desperation that you, your pet may have gone through. 
and um, oh gosh, this energy, I, I, I feel it right you know, you know, I, I'm an empath, I'm psychic medium, I, I pick up on this energy, and it's just so, so sad, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like not, not respected, this pet has not res been respected. And that love yourself first, I get like, it has not been loved. But then, <laughs> we have the Ace of Cups. Aces are new beginnings, and the Ace of Cups is a new beginning in love. It's like you came and you were this beacon of light, and you loved them. And, you know, we have new beginning, new love. Ace of Cups is new love. And then we got healing, and rest and rejuvenate, another card of healing. We have two cards of healing. And death also means healing for me. Death means something old dies. Healing, death to me is transformation. It's a new life. It's a new beginning, you could say as well. I mean, this in this deck, it's the full card. But we have this new beginning. We have the old life. And then we have the new life. But all of a sudden, there is love. And um, your pet is saying, if... Well, there's different people clicking on this video of course and you may be in different stages and for some of you maybe they already are happy and healed and all of that and they show you that love others may still be in this healing phase but there is the new beginning and they they see that you give them that time and um, their space and help them transition And, you know, and so for some of you, this already has been, has happened. For some of you, it is happening. For some of you, it is going to happen soon. Because you just brought that patience and kindness to them. But for some of them, they're still healing. So they're asking for a little bit more patience because they're doing their best. And I'm getting another thing, another message for some of you. Maybe um, you were not the first owner because maybe they had an owner or a person that passed. Maybe you adopted a pet that had lived with an old elderly person or somebody who had passed and then they were grieving. And now with you, they get to heal. I want to get rid of that hockey. <laughs> that was tough energy. Um, so yeah, we do have to fear of intimate union. If they're still a little bit scared, they are open. Just keep on showering them with love, but not overburdening them. If they want to retreat, let them retreat. Let them come to you. Just be there, but just be kind because they will, you know, if the card is blocked, we can turn it around and then we do have maintaining symbolic purity of heart and spirit so they will cleanse their heart and spirit it may be blocked right now and then we do have yes yeah, service you are serving them and here yeah exaggerated belief that you're the only means which through which a course can uh, believe that you're the only one you know i got like they, they for many of you there has been another person for them I get another message your pets if nothing like this happens then your pet of course picks up oh, and <laughs> the energy is getting lighter for me then um, your pet picks up that maybe you are going through some rejuvenation maybe you need to work on your self-love maybe you have been through some kind of separation that can be some kind of separation ending of a relationship especially in this combination, some love that ends. And they're saying, you will get through this. Take your time. Take your time and you're going to get through this. You're going to get a new beginning, a new love. And that is just temporary if you're going through something like this. If you are an artist, your pet loves to be somebody with, around somebody with this energy because the mother of wands or queen of wands, she can be an artist. And then we have seal, imagination, immerse, you, immerse yourself in artistic and creative expression. So that is something else that is going on here. 
so they, they love that so maybe you are the one who needs some kind of healing and they want to help you they want to be with you for some of you of course with death i usually don't take it literal if one of your pets has passed i mean this reading is for those pets who are still here and those who are on the other side then they want you to heal they want you to take your time to heal but i'm sensing that your pet wants you after you have done your healing to open your heart and let another pet in because you know there may be another pet that needs your help because they live in a shelter and they have no one who loves them and if that's the case if you have lost a pet take your time to grieve them rest and rejuvenate healing and then they want you to accept another one into your life new beginnings new love because your pet knows that you have so much love to give with the ears of cups you've got so much love to give and it shouldn't be wasted if you have this big heart you know you would not replace them they cannot ever be a replacement because every animal they have their own character so this is not about replacing so you don't have to be scared about replacing them because they will always be them and they doesn't matter if they're alive or dead they will always be special and they know that but for many of you they say that once you feel ready they want you to open your heart for a new beginning for a new pet because you've got so much love to give and there are pets out there that nobody cares about that nobody loves and you can give that love inside of you to a little fur baby or fur adult whoever it is maybe even for grandma or grandpa in a shelter that nobody wants because most people want the puppies or the kittens but you have love for someone for another pet and they want you to open your heart once you feel ready and have a new beginning so this is the message i got for you guys oh this was a rougher one <laughs> but your pet it's 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 so grateful it is so grateful for the time they spend with you or they have spent with you there's so much love i mean the ace of cups it's overflowing love okay pile three the rose quartz let's see what is your message or the message from your pets oh look we got the chariots we got three of um, pentacles work we got the father of swords we got honeymoon enjoy the bliss and holiday time together i'm already getting a strong message we got flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others We've got um, the storyteller in reverse, so the shadow attribute, making up tales that harm others. We got the beggar, upright, confronts empowerment at the level of physical survival, awakens the spiritual authority of humility, compassion and self-esteem. We got the wolf guardian, you are safe and protected at all times. Owl, pay attention to signs. We got the four pentacles, firm foundation, and the crown chakra. Okay, I'm getting two messages in the beginning. For those of you where your pet has passed, because I'm feeling like some distant energy with this card. Um, this is, can be distant energy, and the crown chakra can be talking about spiritual connection. And who was it here? Making up tears that harm others. I don't spirit I don't really get this one um, we got physical survival for, for those of you where your pet is no longer there they want to say they appreciated the time with you very very much because we got honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday enjoy the time together and light-hearted energy with flirt so they absolutely loved 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 being with you and it looks like you took a lot of time to be with them we got the chariot which can talk about some kind of action we got the work maybe 
for some of you, maybe they even helped you in some kind of way. You know, if you were a blind person, they would be a kind of like helping you with that. Or maybe you, some of you've worked with your dog. If not, they enjoyed just working with you, you know, teaching them tricks, whatever you did. And for some of you, depending on what kind of pet you had, they've always felt very safe with you, very protected. And for others of you, maybe they were protective over you because maybe they were a big dog or whatever it is. So also if they have passed on to the other side, I'm getting that beggar can also be like you, you want something that you don't have, you know, like missing them and the old owl sorry you get signs and omens and you got the crown chakra which you can also talk about you know getting some signs from um you through your higher self so your pet if it has passed is very thankful for the amazing time for all the time you spent with them for those of you where your pet is still alive they feel like you maybe neglecting them a little bit maybe you don't have as much time as you used to because again the father of swords can be somebody who's a little bit more absent and then we got the beggar you know I, I want something from you I want to have more time with you and I get like maybe you spent a lot of time or you did a lot with them with the chariot and the working card and um, now maybe if because of something in your life and we all understand it you know you have to work more whatever it is or maybe you've had a child that needed a lot of attention but they feel like you don't have this time with them like you did anymore and they want to have more time with you because whenever you do spend time with them they're over the joy over the top happy and joyfulness and However, even if you don't have a lot of time, if that's the case for some of you, they want to say you they still feel very safe with you because we do have the firm foundation. They feel protected, they feel safe. Also, we have the wolf guardian basically saying the same message. And also this pet wants to tell you that there is some kind of spiritual connection between the two of you because we do have this one is basically awakens the spiritual authority or awakens spirituality you could say then the crown chakra talking about spirituality and then we've got omens you know the owl was talking about omens and signs so even if your pet is still alive they sense that maybe you have some kind of telepathy you know they understand you blindly and maybe you have been living together for a while now and they know you like no one else you know them and you're just an amazing team and they are giving you signs also maybe pay attention to signs it could be that they're giving you some signs that you're not seeing that could be a thing as well maybe you're too much in your head maybe your absence because you have to work a lot maybe you have to travel a lot maybe that could be another thing maybe you had to travel and your pet stayed in a shelter whatever that was and then your um, pet was missing you with the beggar card or maybe you do travel with them that could be a, of course another thing and then they love whatever time they spend with you your pets this one i get i want more time i want your time i want your attention i want this light-hearted energy i love it when we're happy uh, i love it when we have we have always have bliss together and um so i don't get a very bad message here because there's nothing that's like really really sincere when i say your pet feels neglected and it's not about i feel abused or something like that at all not at all because your pet absolutely loves and adores you and we even have like there is some kind of spiritual connection so maybe this pet and you you're not spending the first life together maybe you know each other from past lives and if it's not your past life then maybe their past life if you had had pets in the past then maybe this pet we're talking about right now has reincarnated back into your life because that can happen with past but with, with pets but they do acknowledge that there is some kind of telepathy or spiritual connection going on between the two of you. So with the beggar cards, yeah, I'm not feeling like you're, you're abusing them in any way. It's just like they want a lot of attention. They maybe need a lot of attention. I don't know how old your pet is. Maybe they're still young. Maybe it's a puppy. 
and then they're saying oh I need your time I need your time or maybe they've grown older and now they need more time because maybe you know they don't have that much time left or just when they're older they maybe need a little bit more you know maybe there's some signs that you're not missing that for some of you maybe your pet is not feeling too well when it comes to their health I don't have a big health scare here of course but there is some signs that maybe you're not seeing you know it could be anything it could be that they're not feeling well that they miss you um, or they're just trying to get your attention sometimes and you're just too busy whatever it is they want you to see something because we I feel like we have a pet here that may be a little bit needy you know it's very much imprinted on you and it loves you adores you and it yeah it, it just feel time over and over and over again I want your time I want your attention I want to spend time with you if they already have passed I loved the time I had with you I love spending time with you I'm always happiest when I'm with you because you made my life happy or you're making my life happy when you're around you know honeymoon basically I love it when we are together and I love doing stuff with you I love if it's a dog or if it's a pet you can take for a walk with the chariot I feel like this action I love a uh, playing I, you know it's like this active energy I love it when you play with me if your pet is a horse because we have horses here I love to um, if, I love it when you ride me or if they're old already and they cannot carry you I love it when you take me for walks I just love spending this time what's with this card though I don't get this making up tales that harm others making up tales I just got a message I, I, maybe you've seen like YouTube videos of dogs that did something they were not allowed and then they were looking like all guilty like I didn't do it <laughs> please love me <laughs> I didn't do it no I, I don't know I didn't open that bag of food no I didn't steal your sausage No, I didn't do it <laughs> this is like what I get I want you to love me I'm perfect no I didn't do it the cat did it <laughs> yeah I get something like this <laughs> but I don't get anything bad about this card it's more like you know like a dog maybe like a mischievous dog you know maybe like a young dog that did something or with the melody maybe you have a dog or a pet that's really loud or talkative one of my cat likes to talk a lot and maybe you're not seeing the signs they really want to tell you something or if they have been um, yeah over the rainbow bridge it's like they want to tell you something but it's like blocked it's in reverse and maybe you're not seeing it but if you just meditate and get into a like calm state and you will get the messages because you are connected on higher levels you see like this head you know it's like an, a halo which is also kind of like third eye crown chakra also getting for some of you your pet just loves your voice is there anything else I'm getting nope well I hope you like this please check out my other channel magic soul ascension coaching it's about twin flame and soulmate coaching twin flame and divine counterpart astrology and also manifesting videos a lot of coaching videos check that out I am available for personal coaching and personal readings of course my contact information is below and I do wish you all the best now bye bye <music>